we are we are practicing social distancing here. That's you. That is a fat sucker right there. <laughs> I've never been shot at, and I'm okay with that. I'd like to keep it that way. Woo, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is another episode of Bee Fishing, and this episode is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. That's right, Mystery Tackle Box. Um, it's a subscription-based service that sends you tackle every single month. And if you use the code BFISHING, you can get your first box for as little as $5. Um, I'm gonna put that code in the description with a link. All you gotta do is click it, go sign up for Mystery Tackle Box, and uh, yeah, get some cool baits every single month. It's like Christmas every month. And don't we all need a little bit of Christmas with all this coronavirus stuff going around? The deal today is I'm gonna go to a lake with my buddy Brandon. If you have not met Brandon, um, what are you doing on this channel? He is the guy that went. I went fishing with and he forgot to put the kill switch in for like three hours and we were kind of stuck right near the, uh, the boat launch. Hopefully I'm putting the card right up here. You need to click that um, and save it for this video or after this video is over. But you guys need to go ahead right now and hit the subscribe button because I want to show you some stuff. This is what's about to take place. We got a lot of pegboard. Uh, we're going to be renovating this whole area. We're going to be putting pegboard in that corner, on this wall, um, probably not in front of the rods, obviously. But we're going to be renovating this entire area and we're going to be getting rid of a bunch of this tackle. Some of it is very lightly used. You may have one or two worms missing. And we're going to be doing giveaways pretty much every single video following this video. So you need to go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. Hit the ding dong notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. So you will not miss out on all of this stuff pretty much being given away. Because we're moving to the Catchco stuff. We've got a lot of Catchco stuff that I've got to get stocked in here. And uh, yeah, I think what's going to happen now is I'm going to go to the water. We're going we're gonna to load up the truck. Um, I'm going to go pick up Brandon. We're going to get on the water. And uh, I'll bring you back and we'll do an unboxing of that mystery tackle box and try, try to complete the mystery tackle box slam. Let's do it. All right, so let's crack this thing open guys. Let's see what we've got for this month. All right, I'm just gonna go down the list. We've got the dibble right here. This is basically tells you exactly what's in the box. We're just gonna skip that. We're gonna go through this. We've got a Lucky 13 by Hedden. This is like an OG topwater bait. So I love how Mystery Tackle Box also throws in stuff that's not completely brand new to the scene that you can use to catch fish that have been on the scene for forever. That's in a nice frog pattern. Hopefully that'll catch fish. That's the only one I'm, I'm, I may be worried about here. We've also got the Janko, is this the, the Rip Knocker? Yeah, this is the Trapline Rip Knocker. So this was actually an iCast 2019 uh, release. It is a line through trap. So you're, we're gonna tie on our hooks, it goes through the grass super well, and the fish cannot use the leverage of that bait to get off. So our hookup ratio should go up. I'm really excited about that one. We've got some Biospawn Plasma Tails. These things will go really good on a shaky head. You can also Texas rig them. Um, and I believe, yes, I saw this. This is the Excavator by Catch Co. The hard hat jigs. That is a shaky head hook. We're gonna pair those twos together and we're gonna catch some fish on those for sure. We've also got some Impulse Senkos or stick baits. I think we're probably gonna Texas rig those. That's in a very natural worm color. I really like that color. Um, we should be able to, I mean, Senkos catch everything, guys. We should be able to catch them on that. We also have some somatis baits. These are in like a, a green pumpkin crawl um, or just a pumpkin crawl. I don't, it looks like green pumpkin to me. We're gonna go with green pumpkin. Those can be Ned rigged. I'm also gonna show you a very sneaky way to rig these. Um, so hang tight for that. We're gonna catch some fish on these for sure. And not to be outdone, if we can get a little bit of wind today, this spinner bait is gonna absolutely kill. It's a little chartreuse, a little bit of white, willow blades in gold and silver. Let's go get it boys. All right guys, so I told you I was gonna do something tricky with these somatis baits, these little crawls. Now, I'm gonna tell you, the cylindrical body screams Ned Rig. We all know that, right? However, I'm actually gonna rig it up on a drop shot. It's just a little bit of a different presentation. And when I rig my drop shots, I do it a little differently. I don't, you know, just pinch through like this a lot of people rig drop shots like that obviously you'll get more meat on it but i find my hookup ratio and the fact that i want the bait to stay in place 
works better when you go through the, the bottom of the bait, almost like you were starting a Texas rig and you just come right out the top and run that all the way down. You've got more hook exposed there and uh, that works a lot better. And I think that that little bit of action there is going to give me what I need. Um, that should do it. All right, so let's jump over here and do the excavator. It's this little shaky head. We're going to rig that up on the plasma tail. So let's open this guy up, get him rigged up. I'm rigging up all my tackle before we start. I think that's just a, a good way to go because I don't know what situation we're going to find ourselves in out here on this lake. And I don't want to have to wait. If I see a, a fish back here striking on something, or I see a saucy spot, I don't want to have to sit down in the bottom of the boat and tie. So if I'm going to use all these baits, let's go ahead and get them all rigged up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and rig this plasma tail. The awesome thing about shaky heads is that it's super finessey, number one. But number two, with these hooks, you can make it super weedless, which is added bonus. Plus, these biospawn baits are freaking awesome. Just skin hook that guy a little bit. That right there is going to be the juice, juice boys. That's going to be the juice, boys and girls. So I'm going to pick up my drop shot with this somatis bait, the uh, little crawl we've got on it. And uh, hopefully we're gonna pick some off. That's what that thing looks like. I think in the water, if I kick it just right, um, we should be able to get bit pretty easily. Yeah, I'm thinking they're gonna be, they're gonna be moving, but they're gonna be on the bottom. What I'm looking at right now, they're, they're on the bottom. Yep, they're hung pretty close to the bottom. I'm hoping by dragging up on this point, I can get bit. Oh, hang on, we're getting bit. See if he's got it. I can't tell if he's got it and he's swimming with it or not. I don't think so. I think we got some little, some little fellas that are, that are munching on this. We're getting bit. I just need one to commit to it. I mean, that's not a small bait. Just need one to commit to it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on, you. That was a fish. That one, that one, that one jerked it from me. I just don't think he took it. Yeah, it was. You're grabbing those little appendages. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shorten you up. Mm-hmm. I think that may be the ticket. Because, I mean, drop shot's a little bitty hook. I mean, it's a little bitty hook. However, I pulled in a five pounder with that little bitty hook before. I mean, it's crazy. But, yeah, I think I've got to shorten it up. Either that or I'm going to grab another one and throw it on a Ned rig, which I don't want to do. I got zero confidence in a Ned rig. I got 100% confidence I'll get hung up. Oh, there's a fish on. I got a fish on. Get in here on a drop shot. Oh, baby, we got one on the drop shot on that little somatis bait. He's a hefty little fella. Fat boy. He was not coming off either. He is, that is in there. Yeah, around the top of the mouth. That is in there in the top of his mouth. Woo, look how fat he is. Look at that tummy. Look at that tummy. Woo! All right, boys, there we go. Now we're on the board. We got one down on the Mystery Tackle Box Challenge. We got one more to go. To His body size and his mouth do not line up. He is, spot, he is not a spot. Not that's, a, that's a large mouth. He is a large mouth. He does not have that part on his tongue, a little spot on his tongue. It's a large mouth, but my goodness, he is short yeah, he and is. fat. He's got a little bitty mouth. We're going to put him in the live well regardless. We almost lost we almost lost the fishing partner. <laughs> While you're down there, if you could tell us where the fish are, that'd yeah, be great. <clears throat> All right. Up. So up next, I'm gonna go with the uh we're gonna we're gonna do double duty here. We're gonna take the biospawn worm and we're gonna put it on that shaky head. We're gonna do double duty. We're gonna knock out two baits right here out of our box with one. If they're gonna bite on the drop shot, which is finesse, then we're gonna give them a finesse another finesse bait on this shaky head. 
Ooh, let's adjust the tension on our on our uh, on our rod or reel there, Brett. I am not digging this rod. I am not digging it at all. I think it feels bulky. Yeah, it just feels bulky. Like right around here, the handle feels. Hey, you want to pick up one of them ugly sticks? It'll probably feel better for you. <laughs> Talking about bulky. Lord help! That thing looks like a like an old skinny co-ed compared to those ugly sticks. Those ugly sticks are big old broad woman. Right the there. ducats are your nice like they're your thin fit girls. You know what I mean? Now this this one right here, right this one right here's had a kid or two, but she's getting back oh, in shape. You better watch her. You gotta get a score. <laughs> Somewhere around the waist right here where I grab it, it's a little thicker than it used to be. I mean, they look. It looks similar to my duck. It's it's white, but my goodness, it's it's thicker on the bottom. Oh, that was a bite. Come on back. There you go. You got it? Yeah, you got it. That's a spot. That's a spot. Woo, boys. We are, we're moving along now. Got a little spotted bass. That's two, that's two baits right there with, uh, with, with one swing of the ax right there. All right, so we are done with those. We're three baits down. I think that means I got four more fish I've got to catch to complete this challenge. Hang out in there with your friend. Move on to the spinner bait. I think the spinner bait will get bit. I think it'll cause a little bit of a ruckus. I'm gonna put on these cream split tail trailers. Some of y'all may have gotten this in your mystery tackle box too this month. If you've got a box similar to mine, these little split tail trailers on the end of chatter baits and the end of spinner baits are money. And all you're really doing, you can fish a spinner bait without having a trailer. I mean, a lot of people do. There's nothing wrong with fishing it without a trailer. I kind of like some of the bulk it gives it though, but that's personal opinion. You do whatever you are confident in. Because if you're confident in it, you're going to catch more fish on it because you're going to fish it better um, is the way to think of that. It's what I always tell people is if you're not confident in a bait you're throwing, you ain't going to catch anything on it. you got to believe it when you're throwing it that you're going to catch fish. Well, there's something. I don't really, I'm not happy with it, that little split tail. Doesn't look very good on there, but hey, it'll catch. The water's really clear. That was a bass on top of the water. I thought it was a, I thought it was a uh, turtle. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Where was it at? It was sitting, I mean, I thought it was a turtle just coming up, just sitting right at the surface, right there on that, that line, that little rock line. Yeah. I mean, I went right over it. The line touched his head and he, <laughs> All right, excuse me. That's shooting. Yeah. Excuse me. We start seeing uh, splashes over here, Brett. We're gonna have to get the heck out of here. <laughs> I just get the feeling it's gonna be a worm bite. I, I believe you're right, dude. And I'm, which means I'm totally screwed on this challenge. Dude, you're not screwed. You've already caught two. Yeah, but they, the the slam, you gotta catch one on each. That's, which is difficult to do, which is why they, they prize it so much. It's very difficult to do. Good call. Another good thing about being here on this boat is today, Brett, huh? we are we are practicing social distancing here. Right. You know, uh, in the true. midst of this uh, coronavirus. All I'm gonna say is if you're, if you're worried about the coronavirus, go fishing. We actually encourage that nobody get close to you. That's right. You get yell at if you get your boat too close to somebody else. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we this is social distancing at its finest. I mean, and by the way. Bass cannot catch the coronavirus. They can. They are corona free. <laughs> bass are corona bass, free. Bass are immune to the coronavirus. I if hear... you catch a big one, go and kiss it. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna do something really silly here. I'm going to swap to that Cinco because I think that'll work. But I don't have a weight on it. I was gonna fish it weightless. So maybe that'll do something. I don't know. Things good until you impale 
my fingers. Go back to old faithful again. All right, let's see if we can. I mean, that feels like it's got enough weight that I should be able to cast it, maybe. But when the flooding comes, there's things. Oh, Jesus. I wish that guy'd really stop. Because we're about to be in range. And I had a fish on when he did that, and I missed him. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't really care if they're cute. I don't know what the hell he's shooting at. But I really don't want to get my ass shot. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a tug. It wasn't a, it me running over something. It was a tug. He just happened to shoot right at the same time. Well, you and I both will. Huh? But, I mean, he ain't shot in a while, so I thought, well, he's, he's must have seen us. He's gone. I think it's coming from over here. Uh, yeah. I don't know what he shot at that time, but I wish I could pinpoint where he is. Uh, yeah. I've never been shot at, and I'm okay with that. I'd yeah. like to keep it that way. I'd like to keep that record <laughs> unblemished. <laughs> I'm going to switch back to a shaky head worm. I can fish it kind of fast. Now this little flat will hold them, so I'm going to slow down. I didn't say it, it ha is holding them, I'm saying it will. Ooh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Yep, yeah, he's a little guy. Little spot. Worm fishing? Yeah. Little spot. He's another little fish stick, but... He'll go. How are they looking in there? Oh, they look fine. Jesus. Really scary how, how little life is worth for something. Uh-oh. Well, that's a fish. Put it in the boat. I thought it was a rock. He is fat, boss. That is a fat sucker right yeah, there. He's a football. That is a fat sucker. That is a fat football. That's, that is another spot. They're over here on these rocks, Brett. That boy is fat. All right, I got to catch some damn gum too. All right, this was a mystery tackle box challenge, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we're we're just we're gonna load up on them right here. All right, let's do it. So if y'all haven't figured out yet, <laughs> this video I've completely abandoned the uh, mystery tackle box. We got two hits on it. I showed you the baits. That should be good enough. Use the code in the description to uh, to go pick you up one. It's just right now they are not hitting on it. And since they're not hitting on it, I want to give them something they're going to hit on, which is the finesse bite. So I'm throwing the shaky head and the drop shot. I'm rigging up right now a little Guggen Baits drop shot. A little drag and drop here. If I can get, get it on the hook right. My lord, what did I do there? We'll get one or two more in the boat and then we'll call this in a day. Yep. Yep. Little, little spot. Yeah. Thank you. you got him? Little, little. I mean, got to be the dink of the day. Yeah, you can throw him back. He's a large male. Look at him. He's yellow. He's 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 jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> he's jaundice. <laughs> this fish is jaundice. <laughs> this fish is sick. I mean, look at him. He has got to be the dink of the day. He is the dink of the day.
Hang on, hang on. Hang on, I, I got it, I got it. I know, I know what I need, I know what I need. Hang on just a second. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There he is, he's a monster. He's a monster. There we go. There we go, look how big he is. This thing is ginormous. It's huge. Look at that thing. Here we're gonna let him go with our tiny hands. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Tiny hands. There he goes. You want the spot? You want the spot? You catch another one? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, he's a little one. I don't know what you're doing, uh, but you're catching all my fish, you know? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's video. It was supposed to be a mystery tackle box, and I never introduced y'all to who I was fishing with. That's old Brandon, man. Y'all remember him from that's the right. uh, from the old boat that wouldn't start for the kill switch. If y'all haven't seen that video, my goodness, what are you doing on this channel? Y'all gotta figure it out. Ended up catching a lot of fish. Tried to do the mystery tackle box slam. Didn't work out because they weren't hitting moving baits. It was all about a finesse bite. We did pattern them. We got on the finesse bite. Brett said we, we, we caught a bunch of fish. He caught a bunch of fish. So. We did catch a bunch of fish, but they were not big. They were not big fish at all. They were all smaller. Most of them, with the exception of one, and we had two large mouths, but one was a very small large mouth. Yeah. He was a... He was a small mouth, large mouth. He was a small mouth. He was a little guy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something about finesse fishing. And the way to, the way to figure stuff out, which I really didn't talk about a whole lot, but Brandon was fishing moving baits. I was fishing some moving baits. Just really throwing the whole game at him until you figured it out. And once we did, we started getting him in the boat pretty quickly. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Leave a comment below on if you like this type of stuff of where we go out and we just start throwing fish in the dang boat. Oh, Be fishing, Brandon, baby. Brandon supporting. Be fishing. Brandon supporting the brand. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna catch you on the next one. As always, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications if you wanna be notified anytime I drop a new video, and we will see you later.